thanks for joining me again uh, with this live demo of uh, carving two seals for Martha, uh, artist uh, name seal and uh, an image uh, image chart. I did earlier this uh, trout fish uh, based on a uh, hand drawn design by the artist herself. Uh, I showed you the process how I uh, created with the consideration of uh, the uh, this, the uh, seal uh, art. Uh, you know, so when you make a design yourself, make sure you use uh, uh, at least a a one millimeter marker pen, uh, or uh, you know, even a thicker marker pen to draw, not just pencil or pen, because the line you you draw may not be um, implemented in carving. As you can see, that it's very hard to car carve exactly as the. Uh, Designed <laughs> so for the same by the same token, uh, the design uh, I make for preview may not also the final result. I wish sometimes you know uh, it's even better, but sometimes just different. Okay, so the this next seal is a name uh, for for Masha. She used a pen name meaning. Uh, Small mean, you know, fish, and uh, in Chinese we translate as a xiao, tao, hua. Uh, there's a Chinese, uh, you know, writing system has this uh, uh, hua or simplified hua. It's the same, but in in seal script, we always use the uh, the traditional characters. So in in seal, we read from uh, right to left and from top down. So small peach flower fish. Peach flower fish is the name for Milo. Because they usually um, chase, you know, the the Chinese poetry or picture pictures always de de uh, depict the fish chasing the flowers floating on the in the pond. So that's probably the name comes from. Anyway, so I'm going to make a transfer again. I polished, I, I sanded it off, I may, maybe I should do it a little bit more. Just make sure it, it has no wax on it. And if there's a pattern you want to use as the orientation or keep you, you can do so. Okay, just wrap it. This is a three-quarter inch stone. It's very common for name, uh, name seals. Acetone liquid. Perfect for this uh, transfer. As if you make an imprint on the stone with the uh, carbon cartridge or the toner, toner printer. As you can see, the design is already blurred, so I may have to redo it. Or, you know, I can just take a chance. Um, because this, this is like a single cut um, stroke, so it will be calligraphic anyway, so as long as I have the structure there, it should be fine. And besides more, more uh, ink, uh, dark, makes it clear to see my strokes. 
So this is the mirror image here. I try to memorize it. So you need to understand what you do. Um, to make it uh, eligible to read. Okay. I think I will go for that. This is this character uh, flower has most uh, part blurred, so I would do this first. Looking at this mirror image right there. It's kind of like driving, you look ahead of the wheels, not just there, you know, worry about what's under the, the road under a wheel, but you look at the whole picture. The relationship between the strokes and the space arrangement. There's rules that you make all the horizontal strokes in even space and parallel to each other. This applies to all Chinese calligraphy actually. But you also need to kind of make it uh, vary a little bit so it would not look mechanical like uh, the computer font. Kind of eroded effect here. Try to simulate the bronze seal. The hands script is based on the bronze seal. year old script unchanged over the time. Still used in the form of seal. So it's called a seal script. This uh, next character is a Xiao, a little small. It's a dynamic feel of it.
teach feet tree. Okay, last character is fish.
Oh, I forgot to update this image. As you can see, there are um, three designs I made for this seal. And uh, this is the first one. It reads uh, three characters on the right, small peach blossom. And then the left character is uh, fish. This is the one I'm doing. That's uh, um, two characters in per row. Okay, then uh, this one is a yin yang combination. Four characters. Okay. So you you have chance to review the the uh, seal before I actually carve it. Um, I'm doing this uh, this uh, edge to make it uh, look chipped and old. And you can see the corner around it like uh, the old antique uh, monitor. And uh, the edge is not really uh, straight. This is kind of like rounded. So when they, they will produce a softer edge on the imprint. You can you can make it uh, look shift and uh, old okay so everything has to look like an old antique not uh, easy to do so I I was archaeologist, so I have good feel of uh, antique seals. Okay, <laughs> done. This is quick, huh? Okay, I'll make a little adjustment to the edge. Need to make sure it looks natural.
is the left edge of the right and the seal. Oh, I missed two fish tails. Yeah. That's one day.
press very hard and hold the paper before you lift it. I think it looks okay now. Just this corner could be a little under. Just knock on the on the edge. Make it a little bit chippy. Okay, I'll make a, a final copy, maybe. I'll mark the orientation on the left. So you will know where where the the, the up is. Somebody mark it on the top, but uh, proper way is, is to sign the seal on the left side. Well, I didn't make it clear anyway. I'm going to sign it first, and I will make the covers. Collection. Okay. This is the left. Okay, again, my uh, birth year is this year, so I have the year of pick. And my birthday actually is uh, this uh, weekend. Every five years, I would adjust my my uh, commission rate by five dollars. So now current uh, current rate is one hundred fifty five for Kavi uh, Design Service. Uh, next week it will be one hundred sixty to mark my sixties uh, birthday. So if you are interested in commission me to do that do it before the weekend and uh, you can use the 10% coupon YouTuber with a capital Y and capital T and with R YouTuber okay this coupon won't expire so you can use uh, later too but uh, to get the current rate on carving you better do it now my name Xiao Hui. Okay, and let's make an official imprint. I just did this uh, fish earlier for Masha, <coughs> and uh, this is the, the seal, little Minlo. Minlo is the small fish. 
We do have the curse of small. It's a main. really hard okay you can wave slightly and then hold hold the paper with the left hand you can lift it gently okay I'll make a custom copy and this uh, card paper I find is uh, nice make sharp copies a little bit but don't move lift straight up okay, that's nice to reduce the grain um, you can blow some uh, Hot air from your mouth. Press really hard. Usually I stand up and use my body weight. Okay, and then hold the paper straight, um, flat, flat, and lift it straight up. Gently, you can lift one side. Then just use, you know, there's a thickness in it. So if you press, if you pull too uh, hard, it will. Uh, take the ink off the paper with the, the, the stone. <laughs> so lift it very gently. Okay, <coughs> each imprint could be different on different paper too. So that's the project, the end of this uh, project. I'm pretty s satisfied with uh, with this seal. So, <laughs> if you have any questions, let me know in the comment area. Uh, I'll put a link to order your own name seal from uh, blueheronarts.com, and you can use the YouTuber code to get a, a discount, ten percent discount. Um, the code is uh, Y O U T U B E R with capital Y and capital T. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.